Hi everyone, I'm JD and I'm here at DeVry College of New York with Will, Steve and Al and they've made this project called the Smart Parking Meter. So can you tell us what this project is about? Yeah, basically our goal is to enhance the way people pay for the parking meter. We don't want any user in, uh, interactions, we don't want people paying for it. So basically we have, um, as soon as the car parks, mm -hmm. the, the meter will be able to read it and that way they don't have to worry about paying Okay. Don't worry oh. about the time expiring. So it's automatic. Yeah. So it's like you just you park your car, you do what you have to do, you come back and drive off. That's it. You don't have to walk and put coins or anything. Oh, there's no, no user interaction. But the, the parking meter automatically understands that you came, you parked your car, and, and how long you were there. Yeah, Does it track the time and everything? Yeah. Each car has its own, transmits its own unique data. So each car oh, has its own. So it's record. got a little a transmitter. Every car has got a yeah. transmitter. So you, so you have to buy that transmitter. Yeah. And that's all you need, yeah. and, and then it automatically does. So let's get into the electronics. I see you have the, these circuits over here. So what are all these circuits? Uh, well, each one of these represents what would be included in uh, in each car. Uh huh. So each board has a an Atmel 328 chip with mm -hmm. the Arduino blue loader mm -hmm. and an XB transmitter. Yeah. So basically, what happens is that when an the ignition is off, mm -hmm. it starts transmitting. Okay. To the to the to receiver. The receiver yeah. So um, so these are three cars, in other words. You have three cars. Yeah, these here. are three cars. So this is what you would have to buy, this little <laughs> system which yeah. you put somewhere in your car. You hide it somewhere. Okay. Yes. And, uh, and it transmits a code. So every car has its individual code? Yes, every car. Okay, okay. And the code is what's transmitted from this transmitter. And this is the receiver here? Yeah, that would which be is like the parking a, meter. Yeah, parking okay. meter. So right now what's going on over here with this A, B, C? Well, A, B, and C is uh, each car is a unique ID. Okay. And... Uh, Next to it, we have the, the time in seconds that's been parked. Okay, so right now, since all three cars are parked and they've switched their ignition off, all three numbers are going up. What are these numbers? Well, that's the time parked in uh, seconds. Okay, so if a car leaves, like, why don't we try uh, turning a car right. on and the car is taking off now? And um, so which, which car are we turning that's on? That's A. Okay, we're turning off A, so, so that's why the number in A has stopped. Okay. And all this is done using a program? Yeah, there's a okay. program on each chip. On each chip there, and also over here on the receiver, there's a program. Yeah. Okay, what processor are you using here to, to write this program? Uh, this is to? the HC, HES-12 HES processor. HES-12 processor, okay. And you write it in which language? In uh, C. In C. So, so you have all this going on, then what's the, what's the next step? What happens? How does the user get a bill or something like that? How do, how do we do well, that? Well, basically, um, all this information that is stored here, mm -hmm. we can transfer it into our database. Okay. I created a database which stores all three numbers, uh -huh. and I'm going to show you right now. So basically, I would transfer this data through serial port okay. to my computer. Oh, so that's the information coming in from yeah, the meter. Car A is 54 seconds, car B is 73. 73. Seconds, so what I'll do is I'll stop this text file. Uh -huh. Wait, actually, I didn't start. A second. I'll transfer it again. Okay. There it goes, and I'll stop it. Once I stop that, I go to my Java program, which okay. I created, and I start it. So you have a Java program running on the computer, which takes this information, yeah. and then it can show us each car. So yeah. how, how do we do that? So first, I'll initialize car one, okay. car two, and car three, and car one, for you can see, it's parked oh, for 54, parked seconds. 54 seconds. Car two will be parked for 88 seconds, mm -hmm. and car three, for wow. 121 seconds. So it's all automatic. So so cars just come and park and leave, and automatically this database knows which car parked for how long. So now here we use three cars, but you can have it for 100 cars, or 200 yeah. cars. It doesn't all this, matter. Each car will have its own type of database. So if the car leaves and come back, it'll keep adding the seconds. Wow. So what's what's the next step? What's the future of this? Um, right now, all this information is in the computer. How can we build people? What what could we do to, to send them well, a bill personally? The, the program should generate a bill, but we're all, we also plan on uh, implementing a text messaging service. Okay. So you can text the phone number and see how much your, your uh, current balance is. Oh, okay. So so automatically yeah. this amount. Yeah, that will, amount will go to your bill, and then you can probably pay it online. Go to a website yeah. and pay it online. So it's completely automatic. You just park automatically. Okay? Yes. So do you think the city of New York should implement something like this? Uh, yes, I think. Yeah. I think it would. And, and how much would you sell it for? How much, what, what's the cost of um, all this, building this whole thing? Each car unit would cost about $30. Okay, that's not bad. I would buy it. And what about the receiver? Um, well, the receiver built like this would cost about 200 Okay. 
So that's not bad. So I'm sure the city of New York can afford that. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to definitely uh, have a talk with our mayor and see if he's interested in uh, buying uh, this project. And, uh, and I'm sure you guys are also going to work on, on this project a little more, right? Yeah. To get yeah. the text messaging and everything to work. So once again, I'm here at DeVry College of New York with Will, Steve, and Al with their smart parking meter. I think it's a wonderful project, and I wish them um, the very best. Thank you.